Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your start menu is not working on your uh, in your Windows 11 machine. Now, there are a couple of fix which I would be walking you through on this video. So please make sure to watch this video uh, till the end. Now, as a first step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and restart the Windows Explorer. So to do, to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to press Control Shift Escape on your keyboard and that should open up the task manager in case if you see fewer details you can go ahead and click on more details and once you're on the more details uh, what you can do is you can go ahead uh, and uh, click on processes once you're on the processes you can do a right click and click on restart now what this will do is this will go ahead and restart the processes on your computer and uh, that will relaunch the task manager back on your uh, computer so once you uh, relaunch try to click on the start menu and see if it works in case if it is uh, if, in case if it works well and good you don't have to go ahead and uh, worry you don't have to go ahead and worry, try the next step now in case if this doesn't work as a next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and restart the windows background services now for that again you will have to open the task manager on your computer by pressing windows control shift x and that will open up the task manager in case if it is fewer details click on more details under this section you will have to click on details under details you will have to locate a service called start menu now what you will have to do is start menu experience host.exe so you will have to do a right click and click on end task and uh, what this will do is as soon as you click on end task the process will start by itself in case if it doesn't start i would suggest you to press use the power button and restart the computer and try it see if your uh, power button um, the start menu is working so this should ideally fix the problem so the start menu experience host.exe is running at the moment so that should fix the problem now in spite of trying all this step in case if you are still facing a problem the next step uh, what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and re-register re the start menu shell experience on your uh, computer to do that what you will have to do is uh, you will have to open task manager again because the start menu wouldn't be working so you, you can click on Control shift escape and that will open up the task manager click on file click on run new task and type powershell and click on create this task um, with the administrator privileges and click on ok so what would happen uh, what would happen is the powershell for your windows would launch now once you have a powershell open you will have to go ahead and use this command i will paste this command in the video description you can uh, copy and paste it over here or else you can do a right click and that should paste the command automatically in case if it is difficult what you can also do is you can do a right click on the bar at the top bar click on edit and click on paste so you can use either of these options and as soon as uh, you have this command you hit enter what would it would do is it will try to re-register the uh, background services or the start menu services start menu shell experience packages on your uh, computer now usually um, depends that you know as soon as the uh, re-registration is complete you can go ahead and close this menu re restart the computer and check if you are able to open the start menu on your computer now in spite of trying all these steps in case if you're still facing the same problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and uh, do an sfc scan basically sfc scan is the inbuilt repair tool what it would try to do is it would try to repair the corrupted dll files on the computer to do that you will have to press Control shift escape on your keyboard that will open up the task manager click on file click on run new task and here you can go ahead and type cmd check the box which says create this task with the administrative privileges click on ok and here you will have to go ahead and type the command which says sfc space forward slash scan now 
and hit enter so as soon as you hit the center you would see that the sfc scan would run for a while it would take about uh, 5 to 15 minutes as soon as uh, this is completed you can try to restart the computer and check if the start menu is working in case if the start menu is working well and good you don't have to try the next step now as a next step what you will have to do is you will have to repair the windows system image with dism tool so basically uh, you will have to open the task manager you will have to press ctrl shift escape on your keyboard go to file click on run new task under run new task you can go ahead and type uh, the command which says power shell and check the box which says create this task with the administrative privileges and click on ok now once you're on this command you will have to go and type the command which says dis m space forward slash online space forward slash clean up dash image space forward slash restore health so this is the command i will also um, mention this command in the video description you can copy and paste it from here and uh, hit enter now wait for the uh, now once this is done wait for the process to complete and uh, then restart your windows once you restart your windows um, the next step what i would suggest you is i would suggest you to go ahead and uh, check if uh, the start menu is working so basically uh, this should fix a problem in case if you're still facing a problem then i would suggest you to uh, leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with a possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day